it's not just Māori language, it's our language, it's Aotearoa's language, so we should all learn it. Kia ora mata. Tanakwe, James. Hey, did you hear about the surge going on right now? There's a purge going on? Why didn't anyone tell me I don't have any weapons ready? No, not a purge, a surge. Oh, that makes much more sense. Yeah, apparently there's a surge in New Zealanders who want to take up te or classes. Kamu te wahi! Actually, I've read about this. Apparently, the demand is so heavy that some universities have a waiting list of over 300 people. Yeah, more and more Kiwis are interested in learning te reo. I mean, it is an official language of New Zealand. But did you know it isn't compulsory at school? It is an ongoing debate. Last year, the Greens announced their support for it becoming a compulsory subject. Sounds reasonable enough, but I'm guessing not everyone's on board. Aye. Mm -hmm. And they're saying things like, oh, why should my child have to learn a language that only 3.7% of the population speaks? Aye. Of course they are. What do you reckon? Should we make te reo compulsory at school? Hells yeah! I wish I'd learned te reo at school. Me too. You know what I find funny? When people say that te reo has no real use in the outside world, but they're totally chill with their kid having to learn what a parallelogram is. Exactly. It's like, why are you so against your kid learning a second language? Isn't being bilingual good for you? Totally. You know, studies show that learning another language can actually lead to an increase of cognitive ability in areas such as memory and decision making. Right? It makes you brainy. Sure does. And hey, I learned today at school and I turned out fine. I mean, other than the fact that my body now has an involuntary response whenever someone says, tu tiramai na iwi. There's also the added perk of being able to say something about someone in front of them without them knowing what you're saying. Ole pipilo ya le kamale se. Oh, what did you say? That you're a lovely boy. Oh, kia ora, Mata. Kia ora. But Mata, Maori's not my language, mate. Why is it being forced on me? Because it's New Zealand's indigenous language. It's part of our cultural heritage. We should be preserving it. Yeah, right? But for some reason, everyone's so keen on preserving native birds, but when it comes to the native language, everyone's like, yeah, nah. And by teaching our kids te reo, we're future-proofing them. Yeah, how so? Well, when they grow up, we'll have a generation of New Zealanders who don't mumble their way through the first half of our national anthem. Kick out, everybody. Not to mention, when people say that it's a dead language, they're kind of ignoring the fact that there's a generation of New Zealanders who were actively discouraged from using it. Some schools literally beat a child if he or she was heard speaking te reo. Hold up. Are you telling me that for years the government helped endanger the language and now people have the nerve to ignore that history and use the fact that it's on the decline as an excuse not to learn it? Aye. Well, that sucks. Sure does. So what's the verdict? Are we pro today or against having it forced on us? Like Don Brash, Sir Bob Jones, and whoever this guy was. I'm seeing a trend here. They have short first names? That's it. Yeah, definitely just that. And we should be pro today. It's part of a cultural heritage and we're in danger of losing it. Maybe if we make it compulsory, we can reverse that trend. What do you guys reckon? Should today be compulsory at school? Leave a comment. And share and like this video if you love to tira my na iwi owe tato tato. This should be the national anthem. To tira my na iwi owe tato tato. Bye, you're gonna screw it up.